ball. Right, all we're going to do is a little bit of environmental work. So against the wall, so that we're confined. Because the majority of close court confrontation in the street happens in confined space, and you certainly end up confined. First thing, what you're going to get used to is getting knocked about a bit. So you're going to get a little bit desensitised and learn how to cover. So he's just going to beat me around the body and beat me around the head <coughs> while I'm against the wall. And all I'm going to do is cover up and just feel and absorb. The purpose of this is never to be here because I do not intend to defend myself this way against the wall. I want to, just in case something happens where now somebody has initiatives over me, to become familiar with it. Familiar and comfortable. So most people that practice martial arts or self-defense practice it with compliance. And when you throw the compliance away, most of it falls apart. What they don't do is get hit. Brilliant thing about boxing is straight away from lesson one, you're learning how to throw a shot and take a shot. That's very useful. For the majority of people that practice martial art or self-defense of some kind, they don't mix it up. They don't get familiar with getting hit. And they don't get familiar with getting manhandled. So when it comes to the real crunch and they have to use self-defense skills for real, they start to doubt their ability to do that because they've never got hurt. And they don't want to do anything just in case they get hurt. So this is a good way to desensitize, particularly if it's somebody bigger you know, and then it's capable of giving you a hard time. Because it's going to work to your own limits. So all I'm going to do is cover and he's going to start beating me around the body. Just start. And intermittently in that, if I come off the wall, I want him to shove me hard into the wall. So he can beat on me and he can shove me and push me around. Just momentarily, 20 seconds, just to get familiar with that, I'm just going to deal with that, except for absorbing it. And then I'm going to start to do it, stay nice and tight to me. It's working the energy. I want to see the moment where I can shut him down. So it's here, he's going to here, and I want to see the moment where I can reverse this moment. And the way I'm going to do that is by shutting down. Okay, so when he starts to throw, what I want to do is cover and crash to get his neck to shut him down. That'll be one way of doing it. If I'm at the wall with you, I'm over you, pressure on you. So I'm, you're making me try to come to you. So you would pressure me. Here, this is where you're at. It's here. Oh, I've got to shut you down somehow. So here, I shut you down with this. Here, I shut you down with this. Maybe we from here, any number of positions. But eventually what I want to do is shut you down. So, you're at the wall. I'm here. Just go over. I'll start. Shh, shh, shh. 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 Shh, shh, When you shut the partner down, you're just going to shut him down and put in a knee. So we'll feed you this knee structure. From here, reach for the head, turn and put it into the wall. Then from here, one, two, three, four, three, four, three, four. Then you switch. When it's done, that's the drill. We just beat in the arch. If I come away, push me back. I'm just getting a little bit used to getting beat up man and man. So it's another day at the office when somebody starts throwing shots at me. I don't want to be overwhelmed by it. I want to be, fuck it, is that what come on? I want that kind of mentality, it's much easier to deal with it. But I don't want to fucking stay and get beat on by anyone. The point of that is just to get you familiar with it, because it's useful to be familiar with it. If at any point he started to beat on me here, I want to shut him down immediately. As soon as I shook him down this clinch, this knee's going in his groin. From there his momentum and body's coming forward. So the next place he's going to visit is this wall. Oh, he's going into it. That's the point of me putting you to the wall. And what he'll do, he'll articulate the pads to give me a target from here. And I'm here, 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 the next target will be the head or the back of his spine, whatever he's presenting, which he'll represent with this. So slowly, it looks like, simply, he's beating on me a bit here. I say, fuck that, I've got enough food, so I just this, and then I do this, this, this. Finishes with him down, and me gone. That's the drill. Yeah. Got it? Stifling, shut him down. Now, if I just raise my knee, I'm not doing anything. 
I want to drive my knee skyward so that his testicles meet his tonsils. It's got to come through. When I do that, his head will propel forward. And all I've got to do is move to put him in the wall. So I can use my environment. I'll eat you fucking old, left and right. But I'm eating as old as that at you when I run you into it. So he's pointed at the drill in, in one part, he's using the environment. Recognise you're doing that. Yes? Go. Good. Go. Go on, good.